Can we talk about it? Yeah. So unless you have been living under a rock, then I know that you have seen, heard, and are very much so aware of the fact that there are a lot of guys right here in America that are exploring different options of women. Okay. These guys are going where they're celebrated and not emasculated. And a lot of females here are highly upset about that. Right. And what I want to discuss today in this dope discussion is three reasons why a lot of women are upset and mad at men for exploring different options. So before we get into this dope discussion, you guys, please take this time out to like the video, share the video and subscribe. And let's go ahead and get started. Shall we? We shall. So the very first reason on my list that I am going to say as far as why a lot of women are mad at men for exploring different options is because we ultimately miss out on the luxuries, the perks, the benefits of being with said man that is going overseas or going out and exploring different options. If that man that has the stability, the security, the finances, the access, if that man is taking all of those perks and benefits and resources to the next woman, that means that I miss out. That means that I don't get to experience what every woman is designed to want, need, and desire out of life, which again goes back to having a strong, masculine, providing, protecting, leading, teaching man with a life of stability and security right? Every woman desires that. So if men are going and exploring different options, I miss out. I have to then fend for myself. I have to then figure out my own way. And again, in female nature, it tells us to what? Quote unquote, rest in our femininity. So if we don't have masculine men around to give us the necessary support, guidance, love, protection, the whole nine that we need, well, that calls for me to not be in my feminine nature, in my femininity. That calls for me to be my masculine self and be the man that I need that I don't have, right? So the most obvious reason why a lot of these females are mad that men are exploring different options is because I miss out. I have to watch the next woman reap all of the benefits and rewards of having said men around her while I don't have anything. No woman wants to fend for herself. No woman wants to go and stand on the front lines for herself. Who wants to do that? Nobody. So this is why we get upset when we see very powerful, successful, attractive men going and exploring different options. We have to then fend for ourselves we have to then witness and watch the next woman get all of the benefits that we feel like we deserve and it can be an, the ultimate slap in the face it really can but what i will say to that is this okay ladies we cannot be out here disrespecting men telling them how much we don't need them telling them how much we don't want them and just being completely ungrateful as far as having that type of man in our lives and then complaining and getting mad at the fact that those men are saying, you know what, since you don't appreciate it and since you are saying that you don't need me and you don't want me and all of this, well, I'm just going to go again somewhere else to where I will be celebrated and not emasculated, right? We can't get mad at that. We, we have to stop being out here showcasing very poor behaviors, treating men very disrespectfully, very distastefully, and then complaining about the fact that the next woman is getting all the things that we feel like we deserve as women. Well, you don't conduct yourself in a manner that would allow a man to want to do those things for you, right? So if we want to continue to have certain types of men around and not have to be left in the dust and fending for ourselves, well, let's show a lot more gratitude, a lot more appreciation. Let's start to play our role. 
because a lot of guys, they're not going for the disrespect anymore. They're not ready and willing to just wait around on you to change and wait around on you to act right and do better. No, I'll just go somewhere else to where the women are a lot more uh, respectful and receptive to what the roles are and what a man is. Okay. So that is the first thing on our list as far as a reason why a lot of uh, women are upset and mad about men exploring different options. It's because we, we miss out. We miss out on everything. We miss out on having a masculine man in our lives to love on us, to protect us, provide for us, give us peace, give us freedoms. Like we miss out on all of that. And to see the next woman get that, mm, it can be absolutely devastating. So, all right, you guys, let's move ahead along to number two on our list as far as a reason why a lot of women are mad at men for exploring different options. And number two is, um, well, they simply cannot compete with those other women. Okay. Um, I don't know about you all, but there's nothing worse than defeat without being able to compete. That means that I am not even able to redeem myself. I can't go out and win you back, quote unquote, steal you back. No, those other women, they're able to give to you things that I just simply cannot. I cannot beat her at this game. I can't beat her in the femininity lane. I can't beat her as far as um, being submissive towards you, loving on you, being supportive towards you. I can't beat her. So if I can't beat her or I can't compete with her, then I know without a shadow of a doubt that I can't win you back. So when you guys are going overseas or you're exploring different options all together, you know, the mere fact alone that I'm not even going to be able to get you to return back, oh, I'm upset. If you go out and you get a taste of that, there's a strong possibility that I'm going to miss out forever and for good, right? So for example, you guys, let's say I have a cookie business, okay? Just bear with me, okay? I have a cookie business. My cookies are not the greatest and my customer service is just crap, okay? But I still feel like I deserve to be in business. I still deserve customers. I still deserve money. I deserve uh, the recognition, the publicity, everything. I deserve it all. But you guys come to my cookie shop and you're like, you know what? These cookies, they're kind of bland. And you know what? Not only are they, they bland, but they're a little bit stale. And not only are they bland and stale, but the, the person that took my order had a bad attitude, act like she didn't want me here. You know, so I, you know what? I think I'll just go to the cookie shop across town. And they go to the cookie shop across town, and guess what? The cookies are fresh out the oven. They're soft. You know, they melt in your mouth like butter. The customer service is great. It's like, damn, I, I like this. They actually make me feel like they appreciate me being here as a customer. And on top of that, I get to get delicious cookies. Oh, yeah, I'm going to come back every week, you know? But the cookie shop across town gets wind of it. They see how you're bragging about those cookies across town and how everything is so freshly done and the customer service is so great and, you know, the, the cookies are so delicious. Well, I know damn well um, my cookies are not going to get any better than what they are. I've been so accustomed to making my cookies this way and treating my customers in this manner. I, mm -mm. I'm still the best. 
This is how they can think. Like I'm, my cookies, even though my cookies are stale and they're bland and they're dry, you know, it is what it is. I'm still the best. So therefore, I'm not changing. I'm not budging. You know, actuality, you don't know how to change or you don't want to change. It's just stuck in your ways. You're used to giving the bare minimum and receiving the support, receiving the attention, still having customers. But those, those co that, that, that cookie shop across town, guess what? They're continuing to evolve, develop, grow their business come up with better recipes, everything, while you're just stuck and stagnant where you are because you refuse to do the necessary work to improve upon your business. Get customers to come back to your cookie shop, right? Because after all, you're perfect just the way that you are. And anybody that says otherwise, they're just a hater. But nonetheless, I hear about this cookie shop across town with the fresh baked cookies and, you know, the great customer service and the delicious cookies. I hear about it. So what do I do? Instead of improving upon my own cookie shop and my own cookie business, I'll hate on them. I'll say, man, well, I would give good customer service too if I had X, Y, and Z. But see, y'all customers, y'all don't deserve X, Y, and Z, so why should I give it to you, right? After all, I'm the prize, so you should just treat me like X, Y, and Z anyway. I should never have to do all of that for you to come to my cookie shop. You know, they, they're just desperate. That's why they make good cookies. They're just impoverished. And they're looking to expand their business so they can make more money. That's why they got good customer service. Instead of saying, you know what? Let me invest in my business. Let me invest in myself to make this more likely to have the reception that I'm looking for. But do we do that? No. Instead, we'll condemn the next person for going to the cookie shop across town and we'll try to slander the cookie shop across town and, you know, just make them seem like they're just so beneath us. But really, I just cannot compete with them. I can't compete with their recipes. I can't compete with their customer service. And so I know damn well nobody's going to ever come back to my cookie shop after going and getting the cookies across town. And that infuriates me. And what I will say to that is this, ladies. Instead of being upset and hating, how about we just do the necessary work to once again compete? If you know that men, a certain type of men at that, you know, the providing, protecting, leading, teaching, masculine men, if you know that they're looking for a certain type of treatment, they're looking for a woman to play a certain type of role, why don't you just do that? Why don't you just become what they're looking for? See, we want all these things out of a man, but we're not ready and willing to be the type of woman that that man deserves or that man would be looking for. We don't qualify ourselves, right? And so we got to get in the game. You, you can't hate on the next person for playing the game and winning. Get in the game, you know? Instead of getting mad and upset, thinking that all hope is lost and, oh, man, they're not going to come back and, you know, rightfully so if they don't. Because, hey, it's only so much mistreatment you can take. But, I mean, at least still try. Because you never know who just may give you a chance. You just never know. But a lot of these women are indeed upset because they know that they cannot compete with the other women. I can't compete with the other cookie shop. She has way too much more experience and making cookies and running the business than me. And I refuse to learn. I refuse to make the proper uh, investment in, in order to expand and evolve and grow and become better. Uh-uh. And so since we refuse to do that, we'll just be upset and get mad and say that y'all men ain't nothing for leaving us behind. 
Y'all just going over there because blah, blah, blah. Completely slandering these women for being women and doing what you need to do. You know? But nonetheless, we get upset. And that's the reason why. We feel like we cannot compete. And we know that once you get a taste of those cookies over there, you might not want to come back to my cookies. And so... I just completely miss out and I keep losing. That is a reason why women are mad for men exploring different options. All right, you guys. So let's move ahead along to the last and final thing on our list as far as a reason why um, a lot of women get mad at men for exploring different options. And this can be a little sticky uh, of a reason because a lot of females will, you know, swear up and down. Well, I am doing this and I am able to do X, Y, and Z. And uh-uh. But I'm going to be honest and I'm going to acknowledge the elephant in the room. And the elephant in the room is a lot of these women cannot explore different options, right? If, if, if I'm not able to go out and explore different options, why should you? And again, I know what these females will say. They'll say, well, we are. We are divesting and we are exploring different men and blah, blah, blah. But are you really? Or are you just getting a roll in a sack? See, when it comes to men exploring different options, you guys are able to go out and get the relationships, the marriages, the families, the love, the support, everything that you need out of a woman. It is not just something that is actual, right? <laughs> you got to watch your words on YouTube, right? It's not just this actual experience. It is something to where you guys can have very fulfilling, long-lasting relationships, whereas it pertains to a lot of women, you know, we're not really getting commitment like that. We're not getting the relationships. We're not getting the marriages. We're not getting the families like, well, probably become you know baby mamas and stuff like that and some of them will even argue well these these men are going overseas and creating baby mamas too and blah 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 and again there's levels and layers that does happen as well but on a wider scale what we're seeing is a lot of men going out and finding the love the family structure and everything that they've been looking for you know it is not just these one-off situations to where oh i'm just going to hit it quit it and then go about my life no these men are actually building strong sturdy foundations whereas women we're not really able to do that um we're fetishes we're just something exciting to do for the moment you know and so we can be become very upset at the fact that when it comes to us, we're not able to really explore and expand how men are able to explore and expand. We feel very stuck and left out in that way. So since I'm not able to do it, I'm going to condem condemn you for being able to do it. Because once again, by you doing this, I'm going to be left out. Everything really goes back to number one, all right? We miss out on all of the luxuries, the perks, and the benefits. We, we miss out completely. And so since I'm missing out, I want you to miss out. Since I'm over here struggling, I want you to struggle, all right? If I'm not able to find the love and the relationship that I'm looking for, how dare you get it? So that is one of the major reasons why a lot of females are hating and mad at men for exploring different options, because they're not able to do it. Not to the same level that you guys are able to do it. Not at all. And so... Once again, ladies, if we would just do our role and play our part as women, we would be able to have our pick. But again, we refuse, especially American women. I'm going to be honest with you. We're very entitled. We're very stubborn, very hard-headed, very disrespectful. You know, we don't know our roles. We don't know our place. We emasculate men. We disrespect men left and right. And so no man, no man from all over the world wants to deal with that. You know what I mean? We don't take care of ourselves, so we don't even look good. We don't feel good. Our attitudes are trash. Everything is just not up to par, and so we completely miss out. And the most that any man would want to do with us is roll in the sack. And who wants that, you know? Who, who wants that? Who desires that? But I guarantee you guys, if we were able to uh, embody 
the the characteristics of what it was to be a feminine, loving, supportive, submissive, uh, wise, intelligent woman. A lot of a lot of men would find us to be very great catches. But do we do that? No. Are we even taking the time out to make sure that we are aesthetically pleasing to the eye? No. Take me as I am or you get nothing at all. And ultimately, we end up missing out. Like, we're the ones that miss out greatly and tremendously in the end. So, again, why aren't we out here competing? It goes back to number two. Why aren't we out here doing the necessary work to get the de desired results? You can't complain about not having it if you're not doing what it takes to get it and obtain it. Right? But... That's my list, you guys. Y'all let me know what other reasons that you see out there that are contributing to a lot of women being mad for men exploring different options, okay? Y'all let me know, and I'll see y'all in the next dope discussion. Um, y'all like the video, again, share the video and subscribe, and definitely hit that notification bell. That way you guys will not miss out on future dope discussions. Um, but again, you guys, I appreciate you. I love you. Uh, I thank you, and I'll see you guys later. Much love and peace.